Thank you, Devin. And now we're happy to ring in the holidays with a great representative of Wisconsin, Ashley Hagenau. Thanks for joining us this morning. Alice and Daryl Lynn, the 76th edition. Yes, thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, of course. So we got a lot of exciting things to talk about, you know, kind of getting Christmas holiday spirit. So can you tell us a bit about some of the timeless holiday traditions that you've come across in your time in the dairy state? If you're looking for ways to stay cozy during this holiday season, look no further than the Something Special from Wisconsin program. Okay. This program features hundreds of Wisconsin small businesses, which some of them I'm excited to highlight here this morning. So oh, if yes. you're looking to settle down with loved ones, this book, When I Listened to a Farmer by Pete Curran, tells the story of farmers through mm -hmm. imagery and stories. The author believes farmers are the caretakers of our souls. Mm -hmm. And this book shares the three R's of living, which are resilience, reverence, and reality. So Ooh. if you're looking for a book, as a great gift this holiday season, this is certainly a great option. And coming up front, we have some candles from oh, Zare yes. Essentials. Mm -hmm. This will help to keep your those. inside of your house glowing this holiday season. Nice they are made with 100% natural soy wax. They smell they delicious. Smell <laughs> and oh my soy goodness. wax, <laughs> yes, soy wax has a lower melting point than okay. paraffin wax, so the candles burn longer. Mm -hmm. And their scent, works? it's how it works, oh. yes, and their scents might transport you to a beach, to an apple orchard, to making baked goods in the kitchen. They have great varieties to choose no, from candles for their are, candles. Are, are such a good Christmas gift. They're like the cop out when I can't think of something. Yeah. Though. You can I, never go wrong with a candle. You can exactly. never go wrong. You can't have too many. Yeah. Like, exactly. Like, that's impossible. Like, I learned I'm, a trick too. Home. If you can't have candles in your apartment, if you put them in the sun, That'll kind of oh, melt them. That's so a great idea. anyone can have candles. You can work around it. <laughs> I love it. And we have some more candles to feature. Mm. So pamper yourself with Little Bull Falls Soap Works. Mm. Their current and best selling recipe has been the result of tweaking and experimenting mm -hmm. for nearly okay. 20 years. They have handmade soaps and other products that are made with organic oils and butters and also raw goat milk from Wisconsin oh. farmers. So we have them featured up front. Ooh. Another great product to consider giving as gifts this holiday season. Mm -hmm. Also up front, if you enjoy relaxing with CBD products, then Stanton Legacy Acres has you covered. They are a woman and veteran owned farm. Mm -hmm. All of their products are grown, developed and processed right on their farm. They have gift packages and other products that make great gifts for the holidays as mm -hmm. well. Some other products I wanted to share that really highlight Wisconsin's dairy yes. industry is from Widmere's Cheese Cellars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for you to talk about the cheese. Widmere's Cheese Cellars was established in 1922. They are a fourth generation mm. cheese company. They are known for their Colby and their brick cheddar cheeses mm. and also their aged cheddar. They are delicious gift options as well. The Widmere family is known for their award-winning cheeses on the local level mm -hmm. and around the world. So we have some of their cheeses featured up front. Goodness gracious, that's you know quite the cheesy gift you could give out. It's quite the cheesy <laughs> gift, I agree. And lastly, take a trip down memory lane with CTL Foods and their malted milk powder. Mm -hmm. They have been handcrafting their soda fountain malted milk powder for nearly 40 years. And their powder is reminiscent of malt shops in the mm -hmm. 50s and 60s. Some recipe ideas to use their malted milk powder with include apple crunch malt ice cream and of course hot chocolate mm. during the colder winter months. You know, any way you can really get it down. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be in everything pretty much. It can be in whatever you would like, whatever fun yeah. recipes you have this holiday season. Got to get a little creative with Exactly, it. get a little creative. I don't know if exactly it would mix well with the cheese, but <laughs> You I can try not. it. <laughs> yeah, don't knock it till you try it, I guess. Goodness gracious. With a lot of good things, I know my dad, he's been really into like the CBD like lotions lately because mm -hmm. like he's got aches and pains everywhere and yeah. he you know he thinks that it helps him so as long as he thinks it helps him that's mm -hmm. fantastic yes yeah. they have some pain <laughs> creams and other products through Stanton Legacy Acres mm. and all of these products I should mention can be found on something special wi.com okay. that is where we have our full list of something special from Wisconsin members and their products mm. and if
if you're shopping out in stores this holiday season or any time of year, be on the lookout for this red and yellow something special from Wisconsin Logo. Mm -hmm. This certifies that products under this program have at least 50% of their ingredients, production, or packaging taking place here in Wisconsin. Well, it's always fantastic to support local. So everything on this table is great, but if maybe if there's not really something that kind of tickles your fancy, there's many more products that you can kind of go look out for. Of course. And again, check out their website, mm -hmm. somethingspecialwi.com. There are hundreds of companies and mm -hmm. products to mm -hmm. choose from under this amazing program in Wisconsin that allows us all to support local this holiday season. Well, fantastic. Thanks for joining us this morning and sharing a little bit about our dairy state and how we can, you know, get into the festive spirit with it. Of course. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you. And coming up, we have what's trending, including